My name's Andrew Steele. Um, I was diagnosed with head and neck cancer on the 22nd of April, 2021. This is the journal I wrote in um, to document the, um, the journey I'd been through from being diagnosed with cancer through the surgery and through the treatments. The next thing I remember was being awake, not able to speak. I wrote on a pad for them to ring Amy to tell her, to tell her I love her. Um, and then, um, shut my eyes and took a selfie as I was not ready to see my face. It's quite tough when you look back at what you've been through, even looking back at the pictures. I don't like looking at myself in the mirror. I don't like seeing myself on the Teams calls that I attend. For me, again, one of the harsh things was I had a beard before when I had to shave it off and now I can't grow a beard on that side where I've had the radiotherapy. So my face has changed so much in the last few years that I find it's quite difficult to look at. Being claustrophobic, seeing the mask for the first time after they'd shaped it and, and we, we had to go for a scan, it was quite scary because you realise then that while you're going through six and a half weeks of treatment, that's going to be on your, on your face. So this is my uh, radiotherapy mask. I've decorated it. I put some fake flowers and I put the motivational messages from friends and family um, in poignant sort of places as well. This one was quite emotional for my wife. Um, found you, married you, keeping you. Things from my, my children as well. So um, it will get well. One from my uh, pet dog. Um, and then, because uh, I had so much paperwork I had to take, my uh, kids decorated my folder as well with um, a sort of motto of just keep swimming from um, Bond and Nemo. Having a lollipop to be able to diagnose the type of cancer you have compared to having to have the brutality of a biopsy would be amazing. The difference it would make to so many people's lives, there's light at the end of the tunnel. You know, you're not getting a diagnosis and automatically thinking, well, I'm not gonna survive this. By helping raise valuable funds, I can then help somebody else not have to go through potentially what I've had to go through. And that for me is the most rewarding thing of all.